Hey everyone, Maya here from my storybook and happy first day of fall! <laughs> my storybook has tons of new fun fall activities, read alouds, and blog posts coming up for you this upcoming season. And in honor of the first day of fall, we have a fall themed featured book of the week, Otis and the Scarecrow. Now, Otis books are part of a beloved series, a very sweet character, Otis is a tractor, and in each book in the series, Otis and his group of friends play some kind of childhood game like hide and seek or tag, and they eventually use this game to help out a new friend in need. Now, it's not necessary to read these books in order. They um, all make sense on their own, but each one is a very sweet story about kindness and acceptance and inclusion. So let's get started on our read aloud and stay tuned after the reading for a sneak peek of our fall nature craft. So this week's featured storybook is Otis and the Scarecrow, written and illustrated by Lauren Long. So Otis is this friendly little tractor that we'll meet in our story. And I see that Otis has a bunch of farm animal friends. What kind of friends do you see? Yeah, I see he has a cow friend, some geese, a goat, it looks like a puppy down here. And there's a scarecrow. So looking at this cover illustration, what do you think is going to happen with Otis and his friends and the scarecrow in the story? Yeah, well, those are some great predictions. Let's find out and see what happens. All right. So here is our cover page. Again, it has our title and who wrote and illustrated the book, Lauren Long. There's Otis. Let's begin. It was summer when the scarecrow first came to the farm where the friendly little tractor named Otis lived, back when the corn was tall and ripe. So here's our scarecrow friend. Look at all the corn. Otis recalled, remembered, how the crows had scattered at first, scattered and flew away. They wanted nothing to do with the scarecrow, which made the farmer very happy. Why would that make the farmer happy if all the crows fly away? What's wrong with crows? Yeah, on a farm, the crows eat all the plants, so that might make the farmer mad because all his plants get pecked at. Otis was also happy because a new friend had come to live on the farm. But when Otis went to welcome him, the scarecrow didn't smile or say hello. He just stood there, a sour look on his face, staring at the cornfield. After a while, Otis left him alone. When the farm animals came by to greet the scarecrow to say hello, once again, he didn't smile or say hello. Hmm. My friends, are scarecrows? Are they alive? Can they move around and smile like these animals? No. So maybe that's why he's not saying hi back. The animals didn't know what to think. Who was this new creature? The horse curled to slip at the scarecrow's musty old smell. The decks pointed at his tattered clothes with all their holes. The little calf and the puppy were frightened of him. Finally, the bull snarled and huffed and turned away, and the scarecrow stood there all alone. So it seems like eventually the animals got kind of upset that the scarecrow wasn't talking to them, and then they left. How do you think the scarecrow feels when all the friends left him? Maybe kind of lonely, huh? Sad? Summer passed, and by and by, the crows came back around. They perched, picked, and pecked at the scarecrow. Otis noticed that the scarecrow didn't shoo them away. He just stood there with that sour look on his face, staring off at the cornfield. Otis puffed a soft sigh and turned to catch up with his friends. So, my friends, why did the crows come back? At first, they were scared of the scarecrow. Now what's happening? Mm -hmm. Maybe because they're used to the scarecrow now because he's been there for a while. And it sounds like Otis is kind of sad that the scarecrow doesn't want to play. 
<gasps> what do you see on this page? What season is it? Pumpkins, it must be fall. Autumn eventually arrived. The days grew shorter and cooler. Harvest time had left the fields bare, empty except for the plump pumpkins dotting the field with orange. Otis began pulling wagons filled with children eager to pick out a pumpkin to carve into a jack-o'-lantern. Have you ever carved a pumpkin into a jack-o'-lantern? Yeah, it's really fun, right? The farm looked different, but Otis loved the changing seasons, and he worked and played as hard as ever. Put, puff, puppity, chuff, said Otis. It was a splendid, very fun time on the farm for being together with family and friends. So, like, Otis gets to hang out with all the children. What a fun season fall is, huh? You get to make pumpkins, go on tractor rides. <gasps> wow, look at all the fun festivities going on here with his friends. A cool air drifting through the hills made the animals more rambunctious and playful than ever. A simple game of follow the leader turned into a reckless race over the rolling hills. A game of hide and seek turned into a rowdy rendition of Ring Around the Rosy and the animals playfully circling Otis as he counted. One puff, two puff, three puff, four chuff. When Otis tuckered out from all the games, got too tired, he headed up to the hill to the apple tree. So apples grow a lot in the fall. And his friends would join him, and when they were all sitting together, Otis would challenge everyone to a different game. What kind of game do you play, you think, when you're kind of tired? Yeah? Let's find out. The quiet game. Have you played the quiet game before? Are you good at it? Let's see how Otis describes the game. The quiet game is a contest in which everyone must stay quiet and still. No sounds, no laughing, no snoring, quacking, giggling, or puffing. The player who stays quiet the longest wins. I've always been pretty bad at the quiet game. Can you stay quiet for a long time? Otis knew that the animals loved playing any game, even one that challenged them to sit still. To start the game, he would surge his engine to get everyone's attention. Vroom, vroom. Taking a deep breath of air. <gasps> when you're taking a deep breath. And let out a long, soft, put, puff, puffity chuff. Ready? Let's do it together. <gasps> puff, puff, puffity chuff. And see how silent you can stay, right? Look at all the fun animals. Otis would sit quietly and look over the farm. There was the mud pond filled with the autumn rains. There were the plump pumpkins dotting the orange field. And there were shocks of corn all in a row. And there still was the scarecrow all alone, staring sternly, very seriously, at the empty field. So while all the friends are hanging out here, in the tree, under the apple tree, looks like the scarecrow standing all alone. How do you think the scarecrow feels? Lonely and sad? What is something you can do if you see someone feeling lonely? Maybe go talk to them or say hi. That's a good idea. The puppy was always the first to lose the quiet game. Silly puppies. He just couldn't sit still. The bull would twitch his nose, which made the little calf giggle. This made the bull chuckle and snort. And the bull snort would amuse the ducks. And they would wiggle their bottoms as they held back their giggles. And the sight of the ducks wiggling their bottoms would amuse the horse so much that he would roll on the ground, neighing with laughter. At this, the ducks would quack out loud, and soon everyone would be laughing and snorting and quacking and giggling. This always left Otis the winner, a big grin on his face, as he sat quietly under the apple tree with his friends. Look at all the laughter going on with all these fun friend animals. Can you make some of the sounds of the animals? Like the ducks? Let's make a duck sound. Quack, 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 quack. And how about the cow? How would the cow sound if he was laughing? Moo. And the pig? What does a pig sound make? 
oink, 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 oink. That's right. Do you remember the tractor? What does he go? He goes puff, puff, puffity chuff. One day, a cold rain set in. Otis and the animals ran for cover under the apple tree. They huddled together for warmth as Otis looked over the farm. There was the overflowing mud pond. There were the shiny wet pumpkins and soaked corn shocks all in a row. And there, swaying back and forth in the cold wind and rain, was the scarecrow. <gasps> Look at him. Is he all cold and shivering in the rain? What kind of feeling do you get from this picture? A sad, cold one. Otis couldn't take his eyes off him. He thought about how the scarecrow must feel. Otis stood up. Where do you think he's going? Do you think he's going to go see the scarecrow? Maybe, maybe he's going to help the scarecrow not feel so sad. He marched down the hill and puff, puff, puffity chuff, and crossed into the empty cornfield. Without hesitation, Otis chuffed and puffed straight up to the scarecrow. So look, I still see Otis's friends up here. And it looks like Otis went all the way down and who's he going to? To hang out with the scarecrow. under the apple tree, the animals watched intently, very focused to see what Otis was doing. Do you think his friends are going to follow Otis? Let's find out. Otis looked up into the painted eyes of the scarecrow and smiled. The scarecrow didn't smile back, but he just stared off the, at the empty cornfield as always. And the two of them stood quietly in that great big field as the wind rained and battered them. So it sounds like Otis is sitting quietly with the scarecrow. Does that sound kind of sound like a game that they just played? The quiet game? Hmm. Then Otis turned his body around and backed right up alongside the scarecrow. And with a chuff, he sat down right next to him. So it seems like Otis is hanging out with the scarecrow and keeping him company, huh? My friends, look here. Where are the animals going? Yeah, are they gonna go join Otis and the scarecrow? Suddenly, the little calf and the puppy scampered down the hillside, crossed into the cornfield, and curled up right next to Otis and the scarecrow. Gradually, the cow and horse ambled down the hillside, and before long, the ducks waddled down the hill also to follow. And finally, the big bull sauntered down into the field, joining the others. Otis surged his engine vroom, vroom, to get everyone's attention, took in a deep breath of air, <gasps> and let out a long, soft put, puff, 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 What game are they playing, my friends? Sounds like the quiet game. Mm. Is that a game that Scarecrow can play? Yeah, because Scarecrow's really good at being quiet, huh? They found a game that everyone can play together. Otis and the animals sat quietly. Until the puppy couldn't sit still another minute. Uh-oh, it looks like they're getting kind of restless. I think the quiet game might be over soon. The bull snorted on the calf's ears. The ducks wiggle their bottoms. Can you wiggle your bottom? <laughs> and soon everyone was giggling, quacking, laughing, and even puffing. Even Otis was laughing. Everyone except the scarecrow. Of course, who never uttered a sound, who stayed very quiet. Looks like the scarecrow was the winner of that game, huh? Look at all the fan animal friends and look at all the fun they're having. The ducks are quacking, quack, 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 quack. How do they all feel? Very excited, huh? Yet, as Otis watched, he couldn't be sure, but he thought he might have seen the scarecrow smile. Either way, Otis thought, the scarecrow didn't look so lonely anymore, surrounded by all of his friends. The end.
Do you think the scarecrow smiled? Maybe a little. But remember, even if his face didn't change, how do you think he was feeling inside now that he wasn't all alone anymore? Probably feeling very happy inside. So how you're feeling inside can sometimes look different than how your face looks on the outside. But it looks like, at the end of our story, that Otis and his friends found a game that the scarecrow could play and that they could all play together. So I saw in this book that it talked a lot about what you can do if someone feels alone. What does someone look like if they're feeling lonely? Do you know how to tell? Yeah, maybe they look like they're sitting by themselves. They might look kind of sad or they're off to the side with no one around them. And what can you do if you see someone feeling lonely? Yeah, maybe you can do what Otis and his friends did. And you can go over and sit next to them. You can talk to them. And what if they're like this scarecrow, though, and they don't want to talk or say anything? Yeah, you can play the quiet game like Otis. And I think that a lot of times when someone's lonely, even if they don't feel like talking, it helps a lot just to sit next to them and keep them company. And they like being together with friends. All right, so thank you for reading this very fun fall theme story. So our fun fall craft of the week are these fall nature scarecrows, and it's made out of all these different things that you can find in the nature. So what's fun is going on a nature walk with your kids or your students, and you can collect all these different things that you see. We have some fall leaves here. The hat's made out of tree bark. These are wood chips. We have some seeds that were on the ground and right here this handle is made out of a big stick i also just use additionally this is a toilet paper roll covered with brown paper um a bow and some wrapping paper that's kind of looks like that coarse material from a scarecrow so all the instructions for this craft can be found on my blog my storybook by clicking on the link below and if you do do this craft or the read aloud, please share with my storybook all your own scarecrows and your own read aloud adventures by contacting me on social media through Instagram, Facebook. You can find all those links below. Also, please comment, like, and subscribe to my storybook channel to keep up with all of our new read aloud videos. New read alouds and storybook blog posts come out every Friday. So I look forward to seeing you next Friday for our new fall adventure read aloud. But until then, happy reading!